All right, so the EES model, I basically copied the equations from the Gupta MATLAB code. And here you can kind of see the history. There's one EES file, there's another one, and another one. And then I was going back into the MATLAB code and just making sure everything was in agreement. Um, why make an EES model? Well, uh, we use it a lot, so it's comfortable and um, thought it might be useful. So here's just kind of a printout of what it does. Again, it's a time integration, so it gives you all these points in time, and it's running through this uh, cycle, I guess, going this way, going that way, and back. And it loops over this several times until, well, it's just a fixed number of times. The idea is it should converge pretty quickly. Um, uh, looks like one whole cycle there, another cycle, so three cycles, something like that. And the uh, number of steps in the cycle is hard-coded. Uh, the way you can do time integration in, in EES, the version we have, this is one way is to just say, uh, duplicate the equations this many times, and in each step you update based on the derivative, how much change there is, one time step to the next. Uh, this file also does a parametric study. So the parametric study is adjusting this variable as an input. And um, <clears throat> for each point on here, it does this entire time integration scheme. And then it uh, pops out a couple of the performance variables, the refrigeration capacity, cooling capacity, and the COP. Um, and then this is comparing with a couple of uh, different versions of the inputs. And um, so we have the Gupta dissertation, the paper. So I think this is comparing the, the paper and the dissertation here. And it's a whole lot easier for me to just scroll through this. I copied the figure just to refer back to it. Uh, here's references, the equations, pretty much the same thing. So this is the Q dot. This is calculating the, the heat input. And then um, it's saying it has something to do with the rate of change of uh, absorbed mass ratio, dQ dt. Let's see. Here's the numerical integration parameters. Um, so a, a half cycle I'm talking about is, let's see, what is a half cycle? Maybe it's just best to visualize. This is a half cycle, and this is the other half. So we're not doing any integration for the compression and decompression steps, it looks like. Uh, those are just happening. Um, and then maybe we can add the time later. I think in this model, we neglected the, the time it takes to do those things. Uh, and this is just calculating how you transition from one step to the other. <coughs> so the time integration is only concerned with uh, desorption and, and adsorption. And those are encapsulated in this, these modules. Um, so number of half cycles we saw that was Full cycles is three. Um, the index uh, of dilute solution, something to do with this. Index of concentrated solution. So it looks like those are going to be um, something. Time step. OK, not that exciting. These are the input parameters. So this is a keyword that says if you're running a parametric study using EES, uh, then you comment out this line effectively. And it will just pull the variable from the table. So this is the way I'm specifying how, do you, how to get the inputs. It's a switch case statement. Here are the, the inputs. Uh, setting up the boundary conditions. These are overall 
system performance equations. The initial condition specified here. Or final, either one, whatever. So it's not good to say whatever. Uh, this index for dilute is meaning at the end of the second to last half step, half cycle. Um, so that's the end of whatever process that is. It looks like um, absorbed mass ratio is black. So this is a desorption. So that dilute will be referring to the Q being low. So Q low, that's the index in time here. And then the next index at the end of here. So in other words, uh, desorption comes down to here. I want to know the, the values of the cycle at the last, uh, when it's converged in this last loop. So it gives me an index for that point and then an index for this point here. So I can evaluate the uh, high or the concentrated absorbed mass ratio and then the low or the dilute concentrated mass ratios <clears throat> in order to calculate the refrigerant mass and the, the heat transfer. So back in the code. So these are overall equations. And the temperatures of those points as well goes into this equation for, <clears throat> for heat transfer because uh, you lose heat just by heating up and cooling down the, the containment container, uh, the mass of the absorber material, those kind of things. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now we do the integration. Uh, this is looks like an effectiveness, maybe something like that. Uh, that goes into this equation here. So that's calculating heat transferred at each time step from the external source into the, the bed. Um, not not uh, calculating refrigeration effect or anything. Uh, there's again the Fernlich relationship. So this is carried out on all time steps. And then this is the integration upda update um, step. Pretty simply just it's computing the, the, the change in temperature dt of the absorber <coughs> material and the change in absorbed mass ratio um, which are uh, spelled out explicitly, well, implicitly by these equations in the adsorption and the desorption modules. So it's solving for those. And then the way we do the time step is just say duplicate for all these time uh, indices, the desorption equations as per above. And then, um, you know, over the course of one time index, it does compression, decompression. <clears throat> so this is four steps here that constitutes the first loop, the first um, full cycle, I should say. And then there's a second cycle and a third cycle. Um, so these are explicitly spelling out what time indices are used, how many steps of integration. This is really ugly, but it works for EES. And then I skipped the fourth integration step. So if you want to use this, really read, read the directions here to solve. First run the parametric table, table one. And um, this is a parametric table in time, I guess, something like that. Then come back here and solve. So it gives you some results like this. <clears throat>